grows here. I played that first video on donations because I want you to see and hear the video I made about the contributions, our monthly donations, where our money has gone for over 50 years now that I know of personally and what I've found in my research. It's always amazing to me that I had no clue about what I've been finding out. I thought I was living history of this organization, but instead I'm living history of what they wanted me to see. But I'm part of a big family too that I was once very, very close to, but I'm not anymore because of Freddie. Fred Franz, he took that away from me. But my dad's remembering his family now. We talk about it all the time. He's remembering the joy of his youth. He really did have a good youth. And he misses it. He's starting to realize what he lost. But that's the story in itself. Mom's remembering things, too. She didn't have a very good upbringing. Her upbringing was very black and white. And it affects her to this day. But it's also made her more analytical in some of the questions she says. Somehow, Mom will say things like, Um, dear, that doesn't make sense. Or she'll say... A uh, cutie, I have a question. Disclaimer, some names have been changed to protect the innocent. Anyhow, mom comes up with these amazing questions, and they're innocent. But those are stories, too. See, that's just my history. What I want to begin with is the history of the organization. The history that I was taught when I was a kid, because it was a lot more of a printing company back than a business, and it was really intertwined with the president, the vice president, all the corporate CEO guys were the governing body. They weren't separate. They were one and the same, and I think people forgot that because it was 20 years ago, over 20 years ago. But before that, they were one and the same. In 20, 2000, I'm sorry, in 2000, they separated themselves. Nobody knows who the, vet, pre, the president, the vice president, the, any of the CEOs, they don't know them anymore. They just know the governing body. When I was younger, we didn't know who the governing body were. They were nameless, faceless. We would every once in a while hear a talk or maybe know a name in the magazines. But we didn't know them. They weren't as public as they are right now, at all. They were not. The only one that was super, super public was Fred Franz. And that's another story. This is what this podcast is about. You have to go back in history. And it's not just history. It's your history. It's our living history. Because this is how one man was able to take a clothing store, a clothing store. How is it possible that what started out as a magazine company because somebody had questions about the Bible into an organization that has 9 million people following it, living for this organization. They're giving their lives to this organization. They are bowing down to this organization. They will not do anything unless it's okayed 
by the organization, the men at the top. How did they get their power? How did they get that much power over 9 million people that have given their lives? And if they want to stop giving their lives, then they're cut off from their family and friends because they're not bowing down to the organization anymore. How did one man get 9 million people to do that? If you're really interested in what went on in this organization, follow the podcast, watch my videos. Now, I do have to say, I have to apologize for my earlier earlier videos. I'm still working on my audio. I'm trying to get better at it, but I guess you have to suffer through me learning how to do this because you get to listen to some of my older videos. It's just, I'm going to try and update the ones that I think should be updated, but it's a lot of work. So I hope you don't mind just putting up with my earlier audio plus clubs. So I hope you follow along and I hope that I'm able to provide you evidence because that's what I want to do. Facts. That's all. Please. Facts. And if you're just listening, go on YouTube. I've shown them to you. I print absolutely everything out and I give it to you. And I'll tell you where to go to find it. Because people have created these wonderful websites that have, they're so helpful now that I didn't get. So I want you to be able to enjoy them and use them because that's what they're there for. So go on our journey of living history because that's what we are. We're living history. And I think it's important to not just learn about recent history, maybe the last 20 years or so, or 30 years. But go all the way back, because 30 years from now, you're not going to want someone to forget your history, are you? Your experience within the organization, what you were taught as Bible truths, but keep changing. They erased it in the past. Don't you think they can do it with our history too? Our experiences? What we were taught? That's why I need you to go all the way back to a guy who owned a clothing store and how he turned it into what it is today. High control religious organization. To understand that, you have to understand the history. So I hope you come back to enjoy my history and my parents' history, and my grandparents' history about the organization, and all the research that I have found. Take care, everyone, and stay strong. Don't let those men win.